Hello, I recently realized that one of my projects in SourceForge has 34,000 downloads. I haven't really touched this project for about a year. When I opened it up and went over it, it was really, really buggy. And so now I'm working on it. And uh, it seems that a lot of people like it. So I'm definitely going to make it a bit better than it is. And so here is the newer version, Speed Reader Enhanced 3. And what this program does is it flickers text in front of you at a pace that you are uncomfortable with in an attempt to um, eliminate sub-vocalization when you're reading. Uh, this will increase your comprehension time and your overall reading speed. And um, you'll have a lot of programs like this, but uh, I couldn't find anything that's just simple like this. They're all very busy looking and had all these different uh, results, like all these different training courses and stuff. And I was just like, it's got to be simpler than this. So basically, you can paste or load PDF files or text files into this text box. All the text in this text box is what will be displayed on the reader form, which is the speed reader form. And uh, you can pick your fonts, your, your colors, and full screen. Retarding enabled will slow down the speeder when it comes across commas, periods, and large words with um, the dashes in them. And then you've got clean up PDFs. So I've got regular expression patterns in place to analyze PDF parsed text uh, just to make it look nicer. So in the table of contents, you might have several periods or several periods with spaces in them. And I have a regular expression pattern to just deduce it to three, three periods. And it'll, we'll do that for um, any extended period of periods. And so I also am reducing multiple punctuation, other multiple punctuation like exclamation marks and question marks. It just doesn't look right and it's not very easy to read and it's unnecessary so I deduce it to one question mark or exclamation mark. I also have uh, patterns in place to get rid of the excess page, uh, page numbers, chapter numbers and stuff like that when you'll see on every page. I'm also bringing bullets next to the words so that when it's parsed it's not going to be on its own displayed as its own word and then of course I'm going to be uh, cleaning out some foreign symbols that would you would commonly see in parsed PDF text and of course for um, saving this to text file sakes I um, reduced all of the spaces so excessive new lines and, and uh, any kind of spacing character it's just going to be reduced to one character and uh, it just looks a bit better when you're uh, scrolling through it in a text file or another reading program. I recently uh, replaced the text box with a rich text box and the old text box of course it's not you can't load large files into the text box it's not built to handle that many characters so I went ahead changed it to rich, rich text box and it fixed this problem. So I've got an option down here combine small words you can combine two small words to a certain extent well if you if you put this up to 10 then it will combine larger words. So if both of the words are collectively eight characters, no nine characters, and then the uh, last character will be a space, then it will combine it. So let's take a look. So here's this, the, um, the spreader form in non full screen. So you notice that it's uh, combining words when it, wherever it can. and you can press the right and left arrow to increase or decrease the spreading speed it's actually pausing quite a bit on those um, triple periods there probably just going to try to override that somehow so right now it's going through the table of contents so I'm just going to press space and we're going to scroll to somewhere else in the text and then press space again to start it we can press control F to enter full screen. So that's quite fast and when I press exit to exit full screen and then exit again to exit the form you'll notice that I have my word interval set to 72 and I was trying to read at 833 words per minute and that's way too fast for me but I'm sure somebody can do it. A good threshold for minimum characters um, here is 7 so if there are two words that are three letters long 
and they're right next to each other, they'll be combined into one word and displayed to you like that. If you want to back up your parsed text, you can save as text file and just save it as a um, text file for later. Really, this text in this text box here will be restored on the next startup. In the application directory, I'm saving this text to a text file so that it can be loaded again. So you can uh, clear all of the text here, just with clear all. I don't really p plan on reading all of these ebooks here, they're just for testing the program, really. So I'm going to open up something small. That's not quite small, it has 428 pages, but it's small in relation to the other ones. On Windows 7 in Vista, this program will effectively disable the um, screensaver as soon as you open up the uh, Spreader form. I'm going to go ahead and uh, give it kind of a, an old scripture look, so let's pick a back color. and the text color. And we're going to pick a font. So there's Bookman Antiqua. It's a pretty decent font. We'll show the reader. There you've got your old scripture kind of look. Basically just press any key to start and stop the spreader. Any key other than Control and Control F and the left and right arrows. That's about it for this program. See you later.